Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, on which depending on your location, please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos, news updates. Southern region braces as another set of Boko Haram released into the society. Yes, the Nigerian army released 200 Boko Haram detainees in Brown State. They said they have cleared them or after clearing them of wrongdoing. Yes, that's the Nigerian army. They released over 200 Boko Haram. This is not the first time, of course, you know. This is a routine in the Nigerian army releasing Boko Haram terrorists into the society. They said they have cleared them of wrongdoings. Sometimes they have said they are repented Boko Haram. This one they said clearing them of wrongdoing. How? Who tried them? The army arrested them, according to what they say. The same army, you know, they charged and acquitted them. Now the army, they are the police now. They are the army and they are the court. You have seen what is happening. The army, now them be police, now them be army, now them be court. They will arrest you, try you, discharge and acquit you. You have seen it. Nigerian army, this is what they used to do. They will release terrorists to the society to go and recruit them or enlist them to the army to send them to the southeast, south south, and sometimes southwest. Yes, so they're in the army. What they are going there to cause is problems. Problem. Terrorists. Non terrorists. Because they have been arrested. They will claim, oh, they have repented. Terrorists. Now, what about those people that have killed their relatives? What about those people that have killed their relatives? How do you want them to feel? If you say they are repented. Now you compensate them, the terrorists. You enlist them to the army. You start paying them. So this is a situation that is very grotesque. It's worrisome. And now the southern region, particularly the southeast and south south, you guys have to prepare yourself. Brace up. Because as the information filtered to the air, the region knows what will happen, you know, in the next couple of weeks. Yes, you will see that these guys will be, you know, integrated into the army. The next thing you will see, troops are coming. The Almighty Governor will go and request for troops and they will send the Boko Haram. That's what will happen in the next couple of weeks. Yes, I heard. The Almighty Governor, the one you have in the Imo, even the, the one in Anambra, the illiterate professor, he will go and demand for, you know, these uh, Fulani troops, terrorists, and they will send them to him, to Anambra. Yes, they will send to him, send to Anambra, even the way in Enugu. But he will go there because they are all serving the interests of the Fulani oligarchs. They want to become president. They feel that, oh, the North must support you. You must have the backing of the, the, the North. You know, they brainwash them. They brainwash them. Those uh, Northern elders, they will tell them, you won't become president of Nigeria. You, there's no way you become president unless you serve the Fulani, unless you serve us, unless you bow to us. And these things, they have taken it to heart. They believe it verbatim. And they are serving them. They are licking their boots. Okay? In perpetual servitude. They should go ask their, 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 their people who are ahead of them. They have done this before? Nothing. Nothing. Use and dump. Use and throw away. So, the Eastern region, brace up. Brace up. The brace up. Because we have known them. This is the antics. This is a routine in the army to reintegrate them 
or integrate them, as the case may be, into the system via military recruitment, and they will push them to the southeast, south south, and they go there to cause a genocide, invade communities at any slightest provocation, or in most cases no provocation at all, unwarranted attacks on the people like the one you are seeing in Okwama, in Bayasa, in Data, military invasion, killing spree, in very communities, women, children being slaughtered because, you know, some people, you know, attacked military personnel. In the north, you see this thing almost on daily basis. They kill a military, they kill the army, they attack military bases, they attack, you know, you know, army headquarters. They will not do anything to the citizens, to the civilians, population. But we have not heard about it. In such an incident, where the army attacks civilian population because a military personnel was killed in the north. Nowhere, nowhere. It's unheard. But come to the south, southeast and south south in particular, the Niger Delta. You see, that's what they used to do. They invade communities, they attack villagers. Unwarranted, unprovoked. Yes, so because they are terrorists putting on uniform and they know their agenda, they know their objective, they know their aim. They know what they are doing. They know what they came, the, the, the reason they came into the army. They know what they are doing. So they want to carry their jihad operation because they are jihadists. That is it. So this thing is what is happening now. The people are getting up. They are bracing for any untoward. Yes. And so in the southeast, the BLA, they, they are all there. And so if you like, you know, if you're Bubu Haram, terrorists, they put in them. I think you come to the southeast and misbehave. No, no problem. You know what you would do. But what, what will happen to you, you don't know. Yes, you know what you will do. You know that you want to come to the East. You know that. But what will happen to you is what you don't know. That one is bigger than you. So that is it. So if you like, there is a 2,000 Boko Haram, 3,000 Boko Haram. They will, it is two in the north that they will continue to wreak havoc. Yes. So it's only the Efulefu governors. The Almajiri governors and the um, Tinibus bootlickers in the south is that we are concerned about. That's all. If not them, what is happening? Nothing. This is a, a, a small a chess case. But because of them, that's why we are putting on measures, telling our people to get prepared. 